Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at Mr. Ludo. Mr. Ludo is also known in the United States as Trouble. Uh, Ludo is a game where you have a die that you're trying to roll, and you move players around the board based on the die roll. Again, it's mostly luck-based, not a deep strategy game like we usually cover, but let's take a look and see if this basic Ludo port is worth your hard-earned cash. Mr. Ludo can be played alone or with other players. The alone version uses an AI uh, to play against you. Of course, there's not many choices it's making, just deciding which piece to move. Uh, in the game, you also have a currency called beans, which you can use to cheat, basically to pull players out of your bullpen before they, uh, a number six is rolled. This new mechanic doesn't change the game greatly, but does help you speed things up if you're feeling like you're behind. And I do like the additional little bit of strategy, as there are spots on the board that you can choose to land on that will give you additional beans, which you can use for this purpose. It is fairly basic in its design, of course, it's a, it's a pretty basic game. The little animations are cute, definitely uh, interesting, uh, but I do wish actually with the game that there wasn't much going on in the board that there were a little more animation in the background, whereas right now it's kind of a solid background. Itself is of course very slow, um, you're just rolling the die hoping you get what you need to make the moves. Here you see I've basically already won, just waiting for the right numbers to come up. One of the things that I found uh, very kind of frustrating with the game is that with such a basic game you have to watch the AI take every single turn and every roll. This can become uh, very tiresome and make what should be a short little almost brainless game into something very long and almost tedious. There are several different boards available, I'm not exactly sure exactly what differences there are. I've played several of them and they all seem to be the same, but in terms of playing solo there are different numbers of players you can play against, which can affect the length of the game and how it plays out. Ludo is Ludo, and I can't really fault it for being the game that it is. It's definitely a game that's meant more for children. I remember playing Trouble for hours as a child, and that same sort of fun, kind of just roll the die and see what happens, is still existing here. And I can't fault it for that at all. So if this is what you're looking for, maybe you have children to play with, uh, it definitely is great in that regard. The online play also works well, it does definitely takes some time, but it definitely flows with the online players who are playing about it at your same pace. My major complaint with the game is that the AI play, which I think a lot of people take advantage of, is extremely slow. You have to watch every turn, which really makes the game dry out. From a child's point of view, this might not be such an issue. I'm not exactly sure in terms of attention span. My daughter's still very young. But for me, I found it to really put a damper on this already very light game. This is coupled with a lack of pass and play, meaning the only way to play the game is either online or against AI opponents, which really limits what seems to me to be a very family-oriented game. Mr. Ludo is a very cute game and I'm not faulting it for being Ludo at all. I just wish that uh, it had a few more features to really help it hit its target demographic, which I believe are children and families. 